Hello and welcome to this screencast. In this video, we will find a general formula for the nth term of a sequence. Here we have the first, first four terms of a sequence. 4 sixth, negative 5 36, 6 divided by 216, and negative 7 divided by 1296. Our job is to identify a pattern in these terms so that we can write a formula that we can use to determine any other term in this sequence. We notice that each of our terms is a fraction, so we start by writing a sub n with a line for our fraction. And first we're going to consider, consider the numerators of our terms. We notice that the numerators include the consecutive numbers 4, 5, 6, and 7, and we want to relate this pattern to the index, or the number, of each of our terms. So first, the numerator is 4 when our index n is equal to 1. The next numerator includes a 5 when n is equal to 2. Then we have a 6 in the numerator when n is equal to 3, and a 7 in the numerator when n is equal to 4. In each term, the number in the numerator is 3 larger than the index for the term, so we will write n plus 3 in the numerator of our formula. But we know that that isn't the entire numerator because we also noticed that terms a sub 2 and a sub 4 have a negative sign in the numerator. We don't want all of the terms to be negative, but we do want the sign to alternate. And to get this result, we raise negative 1 to a power because that will change the sign of our terms without changing their magnitudes. If we raise negative 1 to the nth power, then we would get a positive result whenever the exponent is even. But we want to get a negative result when, the, when n is even. So we will add 1 to the exponent. So when the index n is even, our exponent n plus 1 will be odd, and we will get negative 1 raised to an odd power, which is negative 1, and that's exactly what we want. The pattern in the denominators of our terms may be harder to see at first glance, but it turns out to be quite nice. Our first denominator is 6, which we can write as 6 to the first power, and we notice that the index of our term is 1. Our second denominator is 36, which we easily recognize as 6 squared, and our index is n is equal to 2. If we check, we see that this pattern will continue. So we notice that 6 to the third is equal to 216, and 6 to the fourth is equal to 1296. So in general, our denominator will be 6 to the nth power, where n is the index of our term. So we can use this formula that we developed, negative 1 to the n plus 1 power times the quantity n plus 3 divided by 6 to the nth for integers n that are greater than or equal to 1. And we can use this to find any term that we want in our sequence. To see how we can apply this formula that we just created, we will find the tenth term when n is equal to 10. So we write a sub 10 is equal to, and for, next we'll find our numerator. So we raise negative 1 to the power 10 plus 1, and we multiply by the quantity 10 plus 3, and then we divide by 6 to the tenth power. This looks kind of messy right now, so we can clean it up a little bit. When we simplify this, our numerator will be negative because we have negative 1 to the 11th power. And then we're going to multiply this by 13, so our numerator is simply negative 13. 6 to the 10th is a pretty large number, but if we multiply it out, our result is 60,466,000. 176, and that's our final result for the tenth term in our sequence. And we could use this formula to find any other, for other term in our sequence too. Thanks for watching.